Hello guys, today I have a demo project for you with Laravel and it will be an eShop catalog of some kind. So this is something you can see on the screen. And the story of that, I've been always thinking how do big shops handle categories, subcategories, multi-subcategories, products with long URLs, with friendly URLs, how do they manage that? For example, one of the popular bookstore book depository, if you go to shop by category, there are multiple categories and if you click, for example, children books, then there is a category URL of children books, but then you can do subcategory by, I don't know, education or whatever. Then it goes even deeper, three levels deep, and then when you click the product, it has the slug URL, which may or may not contain the category as well. So how to do that, something like that in Laravel? And I have asked a colleague, Marius, to do something like that, and this is the result. It will be, by the way, available for you for free on GitHub, as usual. And in this video, I will just comment the code. So you can click around, you can expand or close the category, then click some category, see the products of that category, click the product, see the product page. So usual typical catalog, and if you can see the URL is pretty long. So category, subcategory, sub subcategory, product slug, and then product ID. And in the admin panel, which is partly generated by our quick admin panel, you can choose the category with two levels deep. That's when you're creating a category and when creating a product, you can choose category seeing all the three layers. So like that, because for example, some book can be assigned to several totally unrelated categories. So children books something and then fiction something, right? So all of that step by step in this video. And quick table of contents, so to speak, what we will actually do. Number one is generate database core and that admin panel core with our quick admin panel. And we have a module called product management specifically for that. So we will generate the core and download and then continue coding locally. So next step of coding locally will be step number two is generate the slugs. So generate friendly URLs both for categories and the products. Then we will implement actually choosing the category the way that I've shown you just now in multi-level way for categories and products. Then we will take care of the data tables of categories which would look in multiple levels like this. Then we will seed some fake data and how to seed the fake data in multiple levels as well. Then finally, we will jump to the front end layer and we will build the home page from a free bootstrap theme. Next, we will take care of the menu. So categories, subcategories, clicking on all of them and showing the amount of products inside. Then we will build the category page. So this one to show the products of category and show the exact menu item that should be expanded, including subcategories. And finally, we will build a product page. And the main thing about that would be that long friendly URL. So enough of a preparation, let's go and see the code. So first thing we do is generate a new project in Quick Admin Panel. We just enter panel name, multi-level categories and choose product management as a starter template and click create and that will generate a few cruds specifically for products so these ones categories tags and products and now we should add a few fields which don't come from default quick admin panel module so categories should have parent category and we add a new field belongs to relationship category it's optional to the model product category and that's it we save and also we need to add a slug so text field slug, that SEO friendly URL part. And we don't have a specific field type of slug, but we will build the functionality after download, but we still need to add a field. And that would be required. And we save the category CRUD. And while it is being generated, we added products CRUD and in product, we also add a slug. So text field slug required save and save CRUD. And that's all we need from Quick Admin Panel. We will download the code, install it locally, and we will have Admin Panel to start from. So here I am installed the panel locally, and I can log in with admin.admin.com, password is password, and we can manage categories and products as I've mentioned you in the Admin Panel. So we can add with form filler Chrome extension some data, and we can add more categories and products. And we won't do anything else with database structure. This is our final database structure. And from now, we will just build more functionality. Next step is auto-generating the slugs from the title of category or product. 
So slugs, as I mentioned previously, these are the URL parts for categories and for products which are SEO friendly. And they should be generated automatically in admin panel. So whenever I put in ABC something, at the bottom the slug is generated automatically, converting spaces, converting some random characters into actual dashes or letters. And if we look at the commit for that functionality, I will use a source tree to comment every commit. I won't stop too much on that because I have a separate video on that particular subject, so check that out. The link is in above and in video description. But just briefly, we will use a package called Eloquent Sluggable, and in every create blade we will run Ajax request to the check slug. That check slug is using a slug service from the package to create that slug, and we return that as a JSON. And to make it all work in the model of product and product category, we need to specify which field should contain the slug from which source name. So here we specified that the field in the database is slug and the source of that slug is name. And of course, we need to have a route for actually checking the slugs. That's it. For more info, in the description there's a video. Next step in product category form, there should be a hierarchy of drop-down, so parent category and subcategories, and I can choose subcategory as a parent category. And to achieve that, commit for that part, so we create child categories has many relationship, rename category to parent category just for the convenience, and then in the category form, we load the categories with child categories, and in the actual drop-down of create blade, we do for each categories and then for each subcategories and for every subcategory we add two dashes in the beginning, so dash dash. Similar but a bit more complicated is for the product page to choose the category in creating product. And this is a multi-select, you can choose a few categories and each category is actually parent category, subcategory and then sub-subcategory. So how to achieve that? In product controller for the admin we also load all categories but this time from the bottom so we load category with parent category and with another parent category and we actually load only those that have all three layers and then in product create we just basically list them for each category option and then a long thing of showing the relationship so category name with parent parent then immediate level parent and then the actual category Next step is product categories table, how to show the categories in that hierarchy. So first level, then second level with two dashes, and third level with four dashes. It may be more pretty, but for simplicity we did it this way. And this is the commit. You load the categories with children, and load only those that are category ID null, so you load the parents only, but then with children. And then in the index blade we will load parent categories, and then for each of them include the actual row, the row will contain all the fields, so actual TD with all the data, but in the index we will have three levels of for each. So for each categories include row, then for each child categories include row for that child category with prefix, and then for each child categories of child category we load those. And final thing in our data tables we need to turn off the default sorting, default ordering. And that's it, then our table shows hierarchy. Next thing is seeding the database with that fake data. That's products, then if we go to categories, these are the categories, and then how to seed the pivot table like product category in this case. So for that we generate seeder files with PHP Artisan make seeder, and then add them to the database seeder file, which contains from quick admin panel default user and roles permission stuff, but we will add to for categories and for products. Category seeder is basically three loops with four variables. So for each of five categories, we create five child categories and then five sub-child categories. And all the names are with faker. So the deeper the category, the longer it actually is. And then for products, we take all the categories, we create a product, and then for every product in many-to-many -many relationship, we attach or actually sync random categories from one to three categories. And then we have a database to play around with. Finally, we get to our home page, and this is the template assets for that, and the inspiration for that was Start Bootstrap Theme, which is available for free, so there's no real design here, but we try to mimic the structure of actual catalog or shop, and this is a perfect example. So you download the theme, 
it comes in zip. So if you unzip that, you get HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which then you just transform to public folder in your Laravel project. Something like this. So public vendor and then public CSS for the main CSS. And then the actual front page is here. So we we'll check that out. And the main layout goes to resources views layouts. And we already have one layout for the admin panel. Now we have front blade, which is almost the copy of index HTML of the theme with just blade stuff. So yield content. Then we have for each of the categories and we will get to that in a second. Then we have asset method to load the CSS and the JS. At the bottom there should be JS as well, like this. And then the actual index contains only this part. So it extends the layout and then shows the product on the home page. Product list of nine products from what I remember. And that is loaded in home controller index. That's route. Then in home controller we have this. So previously it was by default Laravel. Now it has only products. Take nine products in random order and show them on the index blade. So that's the main template. And part of that you already have seen a bit was this structure of menu items. So front categories with child categories with child categories of a category. So in visual representation it's this structure. So you can click to expand or to close or click some category. And for that we will use a thing called view composer. So you should build a class called front page composer in view composers. There is no artisan command for that. You just generate a class wherever you want actually. And in compose method of that class, you add view with variable name and then the value. The value could be built in the same method or in construct. That's not that important. But basically this becomes a global variable of whatever view that you specify. So that's how we can use front categories in the front blade PHP like this. And you attach that view composer to the actual view in app service provider. So you specify view composer with this blade file, load this front page composer. And finally in that front blade there's a JavaScript piece or jQuery piece handling the clicking. So whenever li is clicked then we change the arrow functions and hide or show some categories, toggle or hide and change the arrow again. One more thing to mention here in the front blade, we are showing products count for category, for parent category and for child category. How it is calculated? In the middle of composer, when loading the categories we do with count and that is an eloquent thing. So if you do with count of a child relationship, then automatically it comes with a variable called relationship underscore count so products count it becomes products count and a few more things to discuss category page and product page and let's build a route for the category first and this is how it looks so route for the category which is required and then child category has a question mark which means it's optional it may be not passed so you can open the first category page and then child category 2 is also with a question mark and this goes to the category method of home controller and this is how it looks. It may look complicated but it isn't actually. The main thing is we query the products for that category similar to the home page but the parameter of that is IDs of categories which may be inside of that category. So if I open a parent category page I need to select IDs of all the subcategories which then is the actual result of the filter. And also on our way we are filling selected categories array which then goes to front blade which categories are open. So that's what I meant by uh, when you click a category the menu should be open on the level that it should be second level or third level automatically. And then we can add the actual links to the categories. We didn't have that before so before it was empty and the actual link is route to category with one parameter for the parent category with two parameters for subcategory and with three parameters for the subcategory. And final, final thing, really similar to the product page, new route, even longer URL, and we add the product as a product ID for the reason that it's actually quicker to query the database by ID, and that slug is just for SEO purposes. So that home controller product is actually using automated route model binding, so we're using eloquent model, which transforms to product ID for the query automatically. 
and all those slugs are just for the selected categories for the menu as we did with the category page. And product blade is just showing some variables of that product. And on the home page, this is how the route actually looks. So route product with a lot of parameters. So main category, subcategory, third level category, and the actual slug of the product and product ID itself. Or in this case, we're passing the whole model. That's how route model binding works. And that's it. Long, right? But I wanted to actually take the time specifically to explain everything. But if you want even deeper, then the project is still on GitHub. If you have any questions, then shoot in the comments below. If you want more projects like this one, subscribe to the channel and add your own ideas what demo projects we can create. Also, if you want to save some time to generate that, check out our quick admin panel Laravel generator. With that, you would sponsor the channel this way and see you guys in other videos.